So I've got my Ender 3 version 2 Neo. Uh, I've had it operational here uh, for a bit and I've even printed a couple things like this magic card holder. This is just the bottom. I need to print the top. It's a white and blue deck so I've got that and I did the Benchy um, boat and it turned out really really nice. But uh, when I was putting this printer together and not too surprised I, I kind of said in my unboxing video that the owner's manual and the installation guide are there's a lot of stuff actually missing and if you don't own one of these or didn't know you would really sit here and bang your head against a wall um, one of the things I'm going to deal with here is adjusting the bed so it doesn't have any wobble in it okay mine came out of the box with about this much wobble and I adjusted it on camera but I didn't get the the best view of me doing that because it was more of an unboxing video and that sort of stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you a good view to show you better how I've how I've done this so underneath the the printing surface here is these rollers over here and those rollers are going to uh, keep the bed tight as it rolls around. I'm just gonna disable my stepper motor right now so I can roll it around. So I'm gonna roll it right out to you. And here's the roller here. It has two of them on each side and then there's rollers over here. If you notice above the roller on this side, there's just like a stainless steel bushing in there. On this side though, the two rollers have an adjusting um, nut and what fits it is the little wrench that they give you. It's funny, they give you the wrench, but they don't tell you what it's for or how to do anything about it. So with my bed in my hand, I'm gonna do some rocking of it. I'm just going to um, tighten these these bolts and what it's going to do is adjust the bed that's a lot better already but you can still see a little bit of movement I'm gonna tighten these adjusters to take out any and all slop but notice that these rollers are being pushed into the track more so make sure that the bed doesn't feel like it's getting harder to roll as long as it's not getting harder to roll, then you can snug these up pretty good. And when I say tighten it, your end of the wrench here should be going towards the back side of the printer. Okay. I've got that under control now. You, um, you might get away with having having a wobbly print bed and doing something small like the Benchy and maybe it won't wobble around much. And of course this thing comes equipped with the CR Touch which is Creality's um, auto bed leveling system but um, those, those words actually don't make any sense because this doesn't level the bed. These knobs are adjusted manually. They're not adjusted by the printer. What happens is the CR touch is going to make up for low spots by actually moving your Z, up, Z axis up and down while it prints. And that just doesn't make any sense to rely heavily on that with the bed. So they say out of the box, just uh, go to auto leveling and print. Um, and no, if you wanna have good quality prints, this box was quite large and I had a raft on it and it didn't peel or anything at all because I took the wobble out of this bed and I manually bed leveled. Then I used the auto leveling system. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to another video showing you how to auto level. This one is just to show you how to take that wobble out of your bed so you can have great looking prints like what I've been putting out here.